What? What is this? <laughs> she's so fast, she's so gross, she will never find love. The only one who can love this woman is a good lord. At the bottom, out of the she will never change, she will always do the same. Pathetic and insane. Pathetic. Very scary, you don't care it. Damn, I'm telling. Hello, little gherkins. Portly Pigatha finally came back online to answer your questations, and she wasn't happy about it. There's a rage simmering in the luxury fart box, and she's barely able to contain herself. This video was almost half an hour long, so let's just get into it. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, I missed you guys, but I'm finally here to do the Q&A. So it's going to probably be more than one video because there's so many questions. So I'm just going to work my way down with the ones that have the most likes. Um, I'm going to say right now, I'm just going to lump all of these Salah questions into one answer. Uh, where's Salah? Um, what's he doing? Blah, 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 blah. Um, I will not be answering that. That's um, we're 100% keeping everything related to that private. And he, all I can say he is offline because he chooses to. We're not embarrassed. Um, he wants to be offline. He wants to do other things with his life. He just, you know, this is not it for him. Um, he doesn't want to be on YouTube at all anymore. And I respect that. And it's not, it doesn't have anything to do with me controlling him. I would like to continue with the couple's videos. If I'm quite honest, I would love to, um, because I don't care what people think about our relationship. I, you know, make the choices I make in my life. And, um, yeah, I would love to make videos with him still, but, um, he doesn't want to, so it's just going to be me. So you will not be seeing Salah anymore on, in videos. Um, so yeah, that's the answer to that question. Oh, she's mad, mad. Probably because one of the most liked questions was what his family thinks about Poopgate. No, Chantal, you're not embarrassed because you have no shame whatsoever. Salah is humiliated and is hiding like a coward. It's funny that he wants to do other things with his life, and YouTube isn't it for him when all he wanted prior to Poopgate was to build his gaming channel and become internet famous. We all know you wish you could still do couples videos because you think a man scamming you into marriage is a flex, and now you're unable to use where's your man as a retort to criticism because your man is hiding like a little bitch. Someone asked, why does he film you in the most unflattering ways? Um, listen. He doesn't think that way, and I don't think that way. Like, I'm not ashamed of my body in any angle. I am, you know, not a coward. I'm not shy. I show my whole body in every angle. I'm going to stop you right there. Even with that picture, you're selecting a shot that makes you appear thinner than you are. Why didn't you use one of these screenshots? I am who I am, and I mean, I'm not ashamed of myself. So I don't mind being shot in different angles. I actually tell him what angles to shoot me in and what to do. Um, I kind of direct him how I want to be like filmed. So I do it for different angles just to switch things up a bit. I'm not like a catfish and I don't like hold my camera high up here most of the time to make myself look thinner because um, I'm just not fake like that. So that's your answer. Oh, we are full blown Delulu today. Ma'am, what are these? If Salah moved out, would you pretend that you were still living together and continue to live in Kuwait alone whilst paying him to film your vlogs, or would you go back to Canada? Um, this question makes no sense to me. Why on earth would I move back here to live by myself? Like, no, I would never live here by myself. Number one, um, I wouldn't even be able to live in this apartment by myself. As I've said many times, I guess people just don't listen when I talk, or they choose not to believe it, that's fine, but... Um, you're believing false information because you can't live in this apartment unless you're married. So we had to show our marriage certificate to the apartment owner in order to live here. Um, we don't show it to online strangers because it's none of their business and we don't owe them shit. So that, that being said, um, yeah, I would not live here. Um, I would definitely, I don't know if I would go back to Canada, but I would maybe do something else. I don't know. She 100% would pretend they are still together for as long as she possibly could. That's part of the reason she went back to him after Poopgate. Them breaking up would be her admitting reaction channels were right. 
She will hang on to this relationship as long as she possibly can. Hi, foodie from Trashy Goral. 434 likes. Hi, foodie. Quick question. How did you manage to gain 13 pounds? Um, it's called binging, binge eating disorder. You could probably Google it, where you eat thousands of calories at once. Um, also, the type of food I would eat, a lot of sodium would help, would make me retain a lot of fluid. So it's very easy to go up in pounds when you have binge eating disorder. I hope that answers your question. Chantal, you did not gain 13 pounds of fluid. Stop it. It's funny that you scoffed at the calculations of how many calories you would need to consume to gain 13 pounds while sitting here now admitting you eat thousands of calories in one sitting. Just say you're a glutton and keep it moving. Um, but I've been doing really well. I haven't binged in a while. Ma'am, three days ago you ate a mountain of spaghetti and a quarter of a jar of pickles. Um, okay. Do you ever think you'll actually do what doctors tell you? I've already lost body parts from the beatus and what you were doing is so scary. Please stop. Um, I try to do what the doctors tell me. I've been to a diabetes doctor, an endocrinologist, and I told you guys what he told me to do. And still people come at me and say, he's not right. He shouldn't tell you to eat carbs. Um, actually, he goes for a more balanced way of eating. So like, um, I'll put some screenshots, but like basically, yeah, just food balance and um, combining carbs with, you know, healthy carbs with other food groups. So I am trying to do that. If I fail, it's because... Um, I either just just have slip ups, you know, that happens. Nobody said your endocrinologist, for fuck's sake, learn how to pronounce that word, was wrong. We said you were a liar, and the things you're claiming he said, no endocrinologist would say. You claimed he said you should eat a cup and a half of rice in one sitting. You claimed because he was Indian, he recommends a carb-forward diet to diabetic patients. That is just simply not true, and we didn't have to be there to know that because it's absurd. You're not trying to eat the way he told you to. He told you to eat two hands worth of vegetables with each meal, and we've yet to see that happen. You're eating Taco Bell and hubcaps of rice and calling it trying. Okay, why are you doing reaction videos? Why did you change your mind in less than 24 hours? I did put a community post. You could probably go read it if you didn't. Why I chose to change my mind again, but this will be the last time. I'm not engaging with any drama, any people that aren't worth my time or energy, um, which is one of the reasons. But also the main reason is I try to listen to about two minutes um, and of the material I would have to react to. And I wanted to tear my eardrums out. So there's no way I'm, there's no money on earth worth listening to that um, palava for more than two minutes. So no. You didn't even last an hour after this video before you started community tab raging about FFG again. You backed out of reacting because you don't have the wit or the humor to make it entertaining. The only reaction you know is rage, and you knew that would just give us more content. You can't handle the truth from reaction channels, and you very quickly realize that and quit just like everything else in your life. Yeah, so how long is Salah grounded from the internet? As long as he wants to be. He doesn't want to come online. Um, I can't blame him. The internet is really toxic and it's probably better. Like if I didn't love my Beezers and I didn't like the attention of making videos and entertaining people, I wouldn't want to be on here either. Trust me. Like if I wasn't making money from the internet, um, I wouldn't be doing it. Salak will never show his face online again. He's a coward who can't face the public scrutiny of his actions. Chantal does love the attention she gets online. She's addicted to it. Even if it's negative, she thrives on it. But more than anything, Chantal won't leave the internet, because that would mean getting a real job and doing more than eating herself to death to make money. So just to reiterate, it's 100% Salah's choice not to be on the internet. I don't control him. If he really wanted to come online, that would be up to him. But like I said, I want to do couples videos, but he doesn't. And I 100% believe this. It drives Chantal crazy that she can't throw her husband in our faces. She wants him to get over it and get back online to be her little prop. Why are you not taking insulin to get your blood sugars back to normal and avoid further damage to your body? You were not able to do it with just medication. 10 is not a good fasting blood sugar. So this is the point where your doctor should be putting you on insulin. Okay, so Goral Lash, I'm not a doctor. Um, I did bring that up to him. He doesn't think I need to be on insulin, so he didn't prescribe me insulin. Um, actually 10 for now it hasn't been that long i've been on medication and it was went from 23 to 10 so that is pretty good right now um if it doesn't go down in the future maybe we'll look at that i don't know but uh, i also haven't been completely eating in a very diabetic friendly way so i mean that's no secret i don't hide that from the internet um so yeah i mean that's why my doctor didn't prescribe it you yourself admitted you are late on your follow-up appointment 
You have no idea what your doctor would be recommending because you're failing to do even the most basic upkeep with your health by actually going to the doctor. You went one time, got your medication, and then you did nothing else to attempt to get your diabetes under control. All right, why not come clean about the couple's channel, Insula? If he's not coming back, why are you together if what you wanted was a couple's channel in the first place? Come clean about what? I've said he does not want to continue being online. Um, if he's not coming back, why are you together? So you're basically saying that the entire reason, and you choose to believe that the entire reason we're together is just for content? Well, then that's your problem because there's something called love. <laughs> you are the one that admitted your dream was to meet a man and have a couple's channel. That person didn't just make that up. That came directly from the cow's mouth. You're also the one that said you just wanted a man to fake love you. That's what you got. And now your dreams are ruined because the man that agreed to fake love you wanted to shit all over your Beezer. Okay, this is a... I don't even know. Have you looked at the symptoms of oppositional defiant disorder and borderline personality disorder? No. Do you believe you might be experiencing disorders? Is it possible that you're addicted to stress? No. Additionally, why are you not interested in learning to speak Arabic, especially considering your desire to live there for a while, your husband's first language, and as a means to show appreciation for the culture? Um, I appreciate the culture. doesn't mean I have to speak the language. Um, I might learn Arabic. I'm learning slowly with him, but I might take a course in the future. I don't know. I'm focusing on other things right now. Um, I don't know why a oppositional defiant disorder. Um, I don't know. I mean, are you a psychiatrist? I don't know. Are you suggesting that that's what I have? Um, I, I've been to many psychiatrists and they've never mentioned that. So thanks for the question. Chantal, you use your mental illness as a shield for absolutely everything you do, but then act smug and offended when someone questions your diagnosis. And she's not interested in learning Arabic because she's lazy. There you go. Why is one side of your face swollen along with your eye? Have you seen a doctor about this? My face is swollen on one side? I don't see it. Um, maybe you're looking too much at my face? I don't know. Your face has been swollen on one side for a long time, and this isn't the first time you've addressed it, so I don't know why you're acting surprised. Especially when you looked like this a couple of days ago. Uh, if you end up too ill or bedbound and become unable- These are like the dumbest questions I've ever read in my life. This is- I know why, why I'm annoyed is because I know where this comes from, because reaction channels will sit there on panels for two hours talking about contriving these stupid theories. If you end up too ill or bedbound and become unable to make YouTube videos, what's your backup plan to make enough money to continue living how you are without issue? Listen, if I become bedbound, which won't happen, because I literally just did a video of walking, but okay. Um, if I become bedbound for some reason, then YouTube would be the easiest form of making money, would it not? I mean, you just have to lay there. I'm sitting here. I can lay there and also talk to you guys and go live or whatever. Um, but I'm not the type of person who like sits here and thinking, what if, what if, what if? No, I live my life and don't worry about that. People don't have to watch reaction channels to see that your mobility is declining rapidly. Don't believe me? This is you walking 11 months ago versus you walking a couple of days ago. Thank you to Juliathi9 on Twitter for this clip. What does this say? Are there any ideas for videos with Salah when he returns? I suggest you should have Salah read out a hostage apology note in an orange outfit in the desert next to you with the vegetable pointed to his head. <laughs> yeah, um, seriously. If that, <laughs> he won't be coming back, but that's a funny idea. I like that. Oh, Chantal. Oh, honey. They didn't mean that the way you think they did. There are about 7,500 Canadians living in Kuwait. Why have you not reached out and made friends with any of them? I don't really care what culture you're from, like, to make friends with. Um, if anything, I'd probably rather make friends with, like, locals because I have a lot of Canadian friends. Like, I want something different. Um, I have, I don't trust anybody. Like, I don't, I've had people reach out to me wanting to be meet and, like, hang out, but I don't, I don't trust anyone on the, from the internet. So I'm a little apprehensive about that. Um, also, I just don't really have time to focus on making new friendships. Making new friendships with people is draining and it takes a lot of energy and I need to focus all that on bettering myself right now. Who are these Canadian friends? Pete's? That's literally the entire list. You don't make friends because you hate women and your only use for men is to get dick. Oh, and nobody likes you. Have you or do you consider your life out of control when it comes to your ability to control your eating and control your health? Well, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was pretty obvious. If so, have you considered inpatient or an outpatient program? Yes, and I've been to both. Um, sorry, I've tried to get into an inpatient program in Ottawa and they have very limited beds. 
Um, and the outpatient program pretty much did nothing for me. They put me on Vyvanse. And that made me feel like I was on like a hard drug. It doesn't work because you don't want it to. And there's always an excuse for why it won't work so you can quit. You know, kind of like how you said the binge eating disorder clinic wasn't qualified to treat binge eating disorders. What would you do if YouTube ended? No idea. Um, life would go on though. I mean, that's it, you know? I never stay stuck for a long time. Um, did you really walk those 3,000 plus steps or did Salah walk most of them? What? We walked alongside. That's how he was able to film me. I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> I was in like the majority of the shots. So no, and I even showed like my phone. No, I walked them. I think it's a very valid question. I don't think Salah walked them for her, but just moving your phone back and forth will count steps that aren't actually valid. You're also a habitual liar, so nobody actually believes you. Um, would you take on the challenge of giving up rice for veggies for one entire week? Yeah, I would for sure. Yeah, no problem. I love veggies, I do. Um, just because I'm not able to always control my binge eating doesn't mean that I don't like vegetables. I do love vegetables. So yeah, I would definitely try that sometime. I've spent a lot of energy in my life. I am old in the pursuit of men. Don't all women like want a partner or most of them? Watching my weight and changing my personality and fussing over them. And you know what I have realized? Men don't like women at all. It takes age and life experiences before they even really care about other people. Even their woman. I don't, I think you're talking about personal experience. If you never had to pursue a man, what would you do with your life? What are your interests? Um, I don't think that my life has anything to do with pursuit of man. I could leave and be single right now and still have my independent life. Um, I definitely love Salah and you know, I fell in love and that wasn't planned. It's not something that I planned. It's not like I was like, oh, I need a man, I need a man. Um, I don't need a man, I want a man. Actually, maybe I do need a man. I, I need um, someone, you know, supportive and um, I need romance and attention and intimacy. Intimacy is a huge thing in my life. And um, so, yeah, I don't really understand the question, I guess. I could, like I said, I could, I've never really pursued a man, like to the point where it ruined my life. Like I've always just, always worked, always had my own life, you know? Is this supposed to be a parody video? I'm so for real. What is she talking about? Chantal, you literally chased a crackhead around Canada for a year and literally had massive meltdowns live for the entire world to see. You have broken into men's homes. You've had sex with a homeless man on a rock. You pretended to be bisexual and now Muslim for a man to want you. Your entire life has been nothing but pursuing men. You didn't just meet Salah and fall in love by chance. You searched global Tinder for him. What fucking alternate universe are we in to have these answers? You uprooted what life and family connections you had in Canada for Kuwait and everything you thought it was going to be. Um, what if in five years time something happens to your family? Okay, I'll answer that first part. You uprooted what life and family connections you had for Kuwait and everything you thought it was going to be. Um, if you're referring to the event that happened with my husband and I as it completely ruining, ruining everything we had built, that's where the reason I'm here is because it didn't. Because that's where I outweighed everything we had with um, what we talked about in private and promise, new promises we made to each other. We are starting again anew and um, moving on. So Kuwait is everything I imagined. And I maybe didn't foresee that happening, that event happening, but maybe that was my error. Maybe I was naive and um, needed to realize that there was there were some communication issues in our relationship that we had to fix. And um, other than that, everything else I really enjoy about being here. So to answer that. Can you imagine sitting there and minimizing your husband's infidelity and desire to shit and piss on and grape women down to a communication issue? Chantal really will make every excuse in the world for us to believe she has an amazing marriage. What if in five years time something happens to half your family and they are no longer there? Will you regret leaving stability in pursuit of needing to belong to a man relationship? Oh, honey, I don't know how long you've been watching me for, but if you think that my life in Canada was stable, please go back and watch my live streams from a year ago, okay? Um, <laughs> I'm so much more stable now than I was back then. Um, I don't regret leaving my family because everyone has the right to pursue their happiness, even if that's not, I mean, I, even when I lived in Canada, I didn't see my family every single day. Everyone has their own lives, um, you know, like, I can go back anytime like I did in around Christmas and see my family. So will I regret not seeing them as much? 
I mean, I'm making the decision to be here, right? So if something happens and they get sick, yeah, I would go back and be with them for sure. But as it stands now, I'm totally fine with going back and seeing them maybe once or twice a year. And I talk to them every day. So I don't know where people get, I don't know if they're projecting or they're thinking of themselves when they say I need to belong to a man. Um, you know, people see me as like weak and pathetic for running back here. Again, you don't fully know our relationship, everything we built other than this one slip up um, with the text messages, it wasn't in real life. I mean, people think that I'm like weak or something uh, for running back here and trying to make my marriage work over that mishap. Um, I think I'm strong to be dealing with all of these things. And, you know, I don't have to be here. You know, I choose to be here. I could be anywhere in the world I want to. I have that um, fortune. I'm fortunate enough, mashallah, to be able to work, you know, successful enough on in social media to be able to work wherever I want in the world. Um, I this is, you know, my husband is not the only man on the planet. Um, I choose to be with him. I love him. And I think that our marriage is worth working on. Um, people get very small snippets of what we deal with and what we talk about, what we go through. So that was a lot of words to just say, I'm a desperate bitch and will never voluntarily leave a man. Chantal, the only thing about you that is strong are those knees and ankles that manage to hold that gunt up every single day. You are weak and you and your husband are the laughing stock of the internet. There you go, minimizing his actions again as a mishap. He cheated on you in the ugliest way, and you ran back to become his red velvet toilet. What happens if Salah up and leaves you because it isn't what he wanted after all? Okay, then that happens, and I'll deal with it. Like I said, you don't know the language, you don't know customs or laws. Um, a lot of people who travel don't really know all that, and I do know the custom and customs and laws a lot now, and I have my husband here as a translator. Um, you have no friends. I do have friends. I talk to online and there's no family will fly to Kuwait to see you. What if you have a near-death experience? These are all like, really like, what if this happens? What if that happens? What if this happens? What if that, like thinking of all of the worst case scenarios, I don't do that. <laughs> like I try to develop my character to be able to deal with problems as they come up because they can happen, but I don't anticipate them and, and give myself more anxiety. Like, do you, you must have a lot of anxiety in life. I don't know. Are you prepared to pass away without being near your mom or sister? Well, that is a possibility. You know, that's a possibility. Um, anything can and will happen. Yes, it can. But I'm not going to not live my life and stay close to home just in case these things happen. The problem with these questions is they are assuming Chantal cares about her family. Chantal cares about Chantal. I'm not saying she wishes these things would happen, but Chantal is not, has not, and will never put her family before a man period have you thought about if your life entirely if your world entirely imploded i mean it's crossed my mind but again um i believe that allah gives us challenges that we can handle and if that happens i mean i'm not super attached to any material things anymore in my life i'm not i mean if my health happened i mean i don't know i really don't know how to answer that like it's not something i worry about no i don't <laughs> Like I just said, unless Chantal can put it inside her through one orifice or another, she's not concerned. Um, so lots proof of life, no. Are you seeing an endocrinologist for your diabetes? And if so, what do they have you on for meds? I am seeing an endocrinologist here. I did some vlogs on it. Um, I'm on Janumet right now, 2,000 milligrams a day. Everyone asks questions, not just, the sh not just the show, the questions you approve of. But why would I show hateful comments I don't want to answer? Valid questions that you don't like are not hateful. If you don't want to answer questions that aren't just beezers sucking your fupa, then do this is a members-only video series. You chose to do this for the general public, and the general public wants to know what bowel movement Barry's family thinks about Poopgate. Before you moved to Kuwait, you wanted to adopt a baby. Is that still a plan? No, not right now. Um, I don't know what the future is going to bring. I have a lot of work on myself to do. You know, I want to be responsible that way. It, maybe in the far future, I don't know. You know, even Salah's views on that has changed. So we're just, we just want to. Um, when I came back, we really talked about life goals as part of like, is it you know worth making this marriage work? And he just wants to be with me. Regardless if that's, you know, he just wants to be with me, work on our relationship, stay off of YouTube, focus on me, focus on um, uh, his career. Um, he's a smart guy. He's been to university. He wants to develop his life more. And he's a young guy, you know, so... Who knows in the future? I don't know. It would be extremely irresponsible for someone who likely will not make it to 50 to adopt a baby at 40. Very interesting that Salah has changed his mind about having kids with you, considering just a few weeks ago he was asking Kaibella if she could have kids. 
Salah is such a smart guy that he thought it would be a great idea to reveal his deepest, darkest desires with an internet troll. Also, what career? Are you on... Are you on your way back to Canada right now? Yes. Yes. Why don't you do your walks on lives? That would be nice. I can do that. Sure. Did you ever consider your YouTube career could be hindering your weight loss motivation? No. I don't think so. Because I don't... I don't associate, like any stress with YouTube with like anything like I don't like get stressed out to the point where I like go and eat or from YouTube you know like uh, if I if I rage or get mad I say what I got to say and then that's it <laughs> and then it's gone you know that's like the good thing about letting it out it's gone after that I don't let it just like ruin my life I move on very easily I'm impulsive in decisions but that's also um I'm also like my my emotions come and go very quickly so I would say no I would say if anything it motivates me more because I have people on my side always trying to push me and even though I'm kind of like you know even though I haven't really been successful um, as, you know, to lose weight and get healthy yet, I feel like the extra support of people on my side makes it more motivating. Also, the fact that I could potentially help a lot of people. That's one thing I really, really um, like about it. I don't do mukbangs just for money or anything. I do it like to show you. I like having dinner with you guys. I don't do it like you don't see me eating five burgers. If I have a slip up and I want to be honest about it, yeah, maybe I'll do it. But other than that, let me help with this question. Chantal would be a death fat glutton whether she was on YouTube or not. Will you be in Canada? Will you be in Canada for Ramadan? Your visa expires, doesn't it? How will you do Ramadan without Salah? None of what you just said is ever going to happen. So, like, you imagined a total situation on your own there. No, I will not be in Canada for Ramadan. My visa expires, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. Um, how will you do Ramadan without Salah? I won't be. Anybody else's arm just twitch because she's so punchable, or was that just me? Um. Would you consider, where do you stand as far as trying a plant-based diet again, or even a vegetarian one that focuses on fresh fruits and veg and beans and legumes and whole grains, maybe some yogurt and feta and eggs in moderation, golden milk and herbal teas and lots of water, fresh juices in moderation for beverages? <laughs> you, I realize this got oddly specific, but I'd be happy with you just answering the first part. If you would ever consider going vegetarian or plant-based. Um, I would consider adding a lot more plant-based food in my diet for sure. You know, any diet other than carnivore, um, keto, well, keto certain vegetables, most like even my, the, the, you know, the diabetic plan I'm on or, um, anything, you know, you should be eating way more vegetables and soluble fiber. So yeah, I would definitely, but the thing is, is because of my eating disorder, like going to extremes is really hard for me right now, but I don't know. I love fish. I love chicken. So I'm not sure, but I would incorporate more of those foods. Chantal, stop making me answer the questions for you. The answer is no. She will not do that because she wants to eat junk and will use her eating disorder as an excuse to do that until she dies. Hope that helps. Okay, I'm going to end with this one. Do you ever feel regretful about giving up your cats? You wish you could have taken them with you. Genuine, genuine questions. Um, yeah, I, I, it's hard to say I regret the decision because I don't feel like there was really any, like, I don't think that at the time, especially, I thought that it was a good idea to, um, rehome them because I didn't think it was a good idea taking them all the way to the Middle East, especially BBJ, who's very old and has a lot of health issues. So I was worried something would happen to them and I wanted to find them a loving home. I thought that would be best. It was probably the hardest decision I've ever had to make in my life. They were a huge part of my life. They were like my children in a way. I mean, not, you know what I mean, pet children. Um, so while it hurts my heart every day that I don't have them with me and that I rehomed them, I still don't know what other choice I could have made, given the fact that, um, you know, I had very little time to make that decision. And I just, yeah, I, I don't know what else I would have been able to do. Like I, at the time, especially felt that. So, um, it's too bad that I had to make that decision, but, um, you know, a lot of people have to rehome their pets when they move out of country. Some of them don't, but a lot of people do. So. You chose to have such a limited time to move and rehome them. There was no deadline on how long you had to move to Kuwait. You just couldn't run to your pretend marriage fast enough. You say those cats were like your children, which just reiterates that you should never have a child. If you did, they would be just as neglected, and you'd give them up for a man in a heartbeat. Anyways, um, that's it for this part one of the q and I'm sorry if I seem like snarky, but I don't know how else to answer some of the questions without sounding that way because... They're kind of like really weird questions, like dumb questions. Um, but thank you guys for asking them anyways. I'll get to the 
I'll just go down the list and make like as many parts as I need to answer them all. So don't worry if I didn't get to your questions. I'm just going down and I will get to yours eventually. <laughs> She's annoyed because she realized nobody actually gives a shit about her. And the only questions anyone has are about her husband's cheating and her eating herself into an early grave. Imagine asking people that hate you to ask you questions and then being mad when the questions are hateful. Anyway, I'm sure there will be more soon because based on her community tab, Chantal is stewing in her anger and it's only a matter of time before she explodes like Sala on a Beezer. See you soon, little gherkins. Pathetic. She's so fat, she's so gross, she will never find love. Pathetic. The only one who can love this woman is a good lord. Bye.